One Lakewood family is left with a nasty mess after a sewage line was backed up and it flooded right into their basement. Mm. And now they say they're left with the bill to pay for the damage to their home. So they reached out to Contact 7 for help. And as Ivan Rodriguez reports, their basement's no longer even livable. Yeah, I've remodeled the whole basement here. The Olivas family has lived in their home for 30 years and spend most of their time in the basement. We live down here about 90% of the time we sleep down here. I mean, we shower down here. Until last week, when a backed up sewage line flooded their basement. It was the smell of urine and just, I mean, it's kind of like going into a, a porta potty. Tom Olivas tried snaking the drain. That didn't help. A plumber couldn't keep the urine from coming up either. I could go into a, a hot porta potty in the middle of summertime, you know. Or... So Tom called Bancroft Clover Water District and they worked on the sewage line. There's kind of video once they cleared the line, you can see water. The way that the drain is, the water's going back down into it. And they sent crews to clear out the basement. As they were picking up those two foot by two foot square panels, the, you can see just the urine run right out of it. But it wasn't only urine. Just raw sewage, urine and feces. It, you know, you'd see these little these things just start floating around. And they went into the closets here, underneath the wall, underneath the stairs, and into the laundry room. It was it just broke. As if the mess wasn't enough, the water district's insurance provider, TriStar, says they may be forced to pay for the damage. They charge you to maintain the lines and stuff like that out in the street. And then when and then when there's an issue, they tell you, well, you know, hey, we're covered for $10,000 other, you know, and then you're, it, it's your problem. Meaning any damage below 10 grand is the homeowner's responsibility. Since Tom doesn't have sewage insurance, as soon as he signs a work authorization form, he's now liable. I refuse to sign all that. With a basement in shambles. So here, see where the place where it's coming through? Or you can underneath the plastic, it's wet there. All Tom can do is get an estimate on the damage. If it passes a $10,000 cap, the water district may end up paying some of the cost. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.